you seen from the team this week in terms of energy, response, that sort of stuff? Um, I definitely just, I seen the one to. So, just want to get better, want to go, want to just, just grind for the ones around them. We, we're going through a lot right now, but we still got our brothers at the end of the day, so that's all we can do is play for our brothers next day. Um, what did you see from Ashton Barker? He's been productive a couple days here. Yeah, hey, as is, I've been seeing a lot of things. What I saw from As the first day I met As, like to As wasn't on the field crazy a lot in the uh, in the past years and things like that. But As is showing y'all what he always had, and every day his confidence is going, is building and building and progressing. And As gonna be somebody to somebody to really look at in the past, in the, in the future. So. Along those same lines, guys like Medarius, guys like KJ Kirkland getting in early, just all the younger guys that are getting opportunities. Are you, are you taking on a leadership role in that aspect and just how good is it to see them performing? Definitely, like I'm, I'm an older guy in the group, so like those are my little brothers. KJ, dog. Q, dog. Ed, dog. Conrad, dog. Like you name them, dogs in the back, in the back end. It's, and it starts with Coach Pat. Coach Pat tell them every day, like it's, we come here, we come here to do one thing. That's to, to be us, play football, have fun. So whatever we got going on, it, it, it don't truly affect us because we know, we know what our end goal is. We know what our goal is, just to go, go feed our family, go do what we do best. That's be elite. When you have so much talent in the back end, like you mentioned, can it get frustrated giving up all those explosive plays against Clemson and SMU? And how do you guys kind of clean that up in the past game? It definitely can. Like, like you said, it start with communication. Like, when when you're not communicating in the back end, like those big plays or plays that oh, they get exploded and like it, it's basically magnified because you give up a big play in the back end, it's it's six. You give a big play, you feel me, down low or whatever it is, you feel me, first down or whatever, but the big plays is those equal points. So it it, it kind of hurt us because that's something we work on every day and it's something they, it's, it's all the communication. It's being able to communicate as a as a, as a a group, as one. And it, it's frustrating, yes it is, but it's nothing that we can't fix. On one end of the spectrum, you guys have really good end zone defense against Clemson, but of course get, they got across midfield a bunch. Just how, how have you guys gone about kind of correcting those mistakes to make sure that you get off the field a little bit sooner? Uh, going back to the basics, uh, realizing what we're just acknowledging, what we're messing up on. Because there's a lot of things, it's, you can, it's a lot of things you can fix in that play, but it's really starting from the beginning. Communication, where your eyes are, your assignment, your alignment, you feel me, technique. And then at the end of the day, you just got to execute. So, but if you can't, you can't align right, you can't, you don't know your assignment, those plays are going to be given up. So, that's, I, I, I really think that's, that's just it. Like, just the communication aspect of it and just understanding. You can't do the end without doing the beginning. So, it starts from the jump. Did you do you get to watch any of the young guys get to practice and like what, what, do you, what do you like to see out of those guys when they go out? Yeah, definitely. Um, I just I love to see them boys compete because this is is the I tell them just compete compete and communicate like Kai Bates, Foe, like all of them they they coming out and just wanting to get better. Like you see from day one, I tell them from day one like you look totally different than you did from day one. When it, it just for instance just starting from the beginning like your patience at the line. Your patience at the line gonna take care of everything downfield. Be patient at the line, understand what you can get based off, you feel me, certain alignments and things like that. And they building every day. Just seeing them boys grow. And I don't, I don't know if y'all see us with the energy, you feel me, we, we bringing belts out. It's just, just wanna have fun, bro. The more you have fun with it, bro, the more I, I want to learn. Cause I'm not having fun, but I don't wanna learn. So it's like, bro, if, they gonna have, if, you, gonna, if you gonna learn something, bro, go have fun with it. As I, I just feel like that's, that's how it helped me. That's how I helped my brothers in the back end in the past. So I know it helped them. It helped them just go out there and forget about everything else, bro, and just go play ball. So, them young guys, young guys gonna be, I'm telling y'all right now, them young guys gonna be them. Talk about having fun, and that's something that kind of developed a couple of weeks ago, but obviously it's still been a, a, a tough stretch for the team since then. Just how are you guys keeping that, that fun energy, even though things just haven't produced on the field so far? Um. Big picture, like, big picture, yes, we're, we're, we haven't won. But as a group, as one, we see the, we see the, the process, we see the progress. It's, it's little because y'all, it's so, it's little so it's not being magnified so y'all don't see it, but we see it. We see it every day, like, we go have fun in practice and we walk around talking about practice. Like, bro, you remember when, hey, when he, feel me? Like, it's, it's stuff like that that just make you, and then 
Fancy A Z. Uh huh. A Z in the background. Yeah. He he bring the energy that just wants us to that allows us to continue to go, bro. Continue to have fun. So it's it's nothing to it. It's little things that I can't see that makes it that keeps us going, bro. When you talk about being patient at the line, is that a confidence thing? Like, what kind of goes into that? Uh, being patient at the line is not a—it's not a confident thing, but more of a technique. Like, just understanding, <laughs> just understanding, bro. Like, I'm at the line, speedy receiver, knowing who in front of you. Like, he's gonna—he's gonna give you all that. So, if I'm antsy and things like that, like, I get hit off. That's a first down. You feel me? That's just giving up space. So, if I, but for instance, like, if you in front of me right now, you three yards in front of me, and you coming at me and I'm backing up, you're gonna break at my three yards. And just for us to understand that, just you to understand it as a D, defensive, uh, defensive back, like it, it helps you. So it's, little, it's little pieces, little techniques, the instinct. Thanks, man.